Uh, Watson the Gatsby continue, who's had his run uh, go long through losers. Uh, Gatsby dropped two gen in winner's quarterfinals and stormed through Rami, Jazzy, and Carflow to make it all the way back for the run back end. I mean, if there's any sort of way to watch these two characters operate and just how fast they can be, it's in a matchup like this. A absolutely, and right, these two players play all the time as well. Jen makes it out to Encore very often, and that's Gatsby's home territory. So, oh, there's a whole lot of familiarity here, so we're going to see a lot of probably player adjustments even from the get-go, and because this matchup can be kind of awkward sometimes. Yeah, it's definitely tough when you play against a character that's as fast as you, but with a different game plan, yeah. a different theory. Yeah, like, different and, axis of interaction. Yes, a, a different axis entirely, yet, in fact. Like, the the way that Jen plays and the way Palutena operates is about control into burst aggression. Mm -hmm. Being able to, like, close down options and cover everything until you are out. And Falcon doesn't have many options to give. And on top of just hitboxes that put himself at risk compared to Palutena's more controlling ones. Yeah. So unless Gatsby explodes for multiple times a game, we're going to see Jen slowly but surely pull away with this one. Yeah. And what, some huge tools on that are that back air, are that dash deck, right? Those invulnerable moves which can contest Falcon's, Falcon's aerial combo starters, but also that like bounded raptor boost, right? You can just dash attack it on reaction and hit him for it and then get a whole nother punish. And it just can be very hard for Falcon to find those extended oh, hits to get those that explosive plays, those explosive plays here against just the plethora of disjoints the power can throw out. Yeah, We're seeing Jen just orchestrate that game plan over and over again, getting able to stuff out, mix in parries in between, getting a jab as well. Almost uh, like 0.4% off of Max Rage, and Jen looks comfortable calling out spot dodges as well. Like these, this is this is the Prince of New York at full power, and unfortunately Gatsby is on the receiving end of most of it, able to still get that stock. But with how Jen has been able to call out full hops routinely and reliably, like movement moving is just a punishment right now. And. You saw, also saw a very, very DI mistake from Jen there, right? He kind of got caught on the drift away. That dash attack, attack wasn't DI'd optimally. He, and Gatsby kind of is taking that one stock, that one opening, and ran with it. It, it. it, it, he is so incredibly good at once he finds one opening, even once he takes the stock, he kind of continues that momentum and carries it forward. Or somehow finding a way past all this ledge pressure and back to stage Jubal. What a great route from from Gatsby. Yeah, still throwing out the up smashes as well. Like sometimes you need that, you need those haymakers right here and right now. And a Falcon kick out of the corner. They've been working for a couple decades, but maybe not so much here. The air dodge burned. Wow, what a reversal there from Gatsby, able to catch the lower, uh, able to catch the attempted like drop down and, and you know, you know it. Never say never, Ruble. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, well ne <laughs> never, never. We're not gonna say time. never. Not now. this time. But that. <laughs> Reverse up B as well, so smart from Gatsby, because it's actually incredibly low risk. It allowed him to, like, even if if um, Jen hadn't gone out for that, that angle is actually what he needed to do to get back to stage, because it rides uh, parallel with, the, with that wall all the, of PS2 there, and that reverse ledge hitbox will still allow him to snap, so it covers that, that drop down, but it also just, if Jen opts to ledge trap, it still allows, it's still like Gatsby's best way to get back to stage. And it kind of plays into it's it's an example of how Gatsby can take advantage of a player like Jen who wants to sit in the flow state, and that flow state can be really routinely to access thanks to things like Nair, just get, getting that autopilot rocking and getting these uh, these flowing movements online right out the gate. But you have to be able to find ways to bring Jen back to earth, and with surprise mix-ups like that. At the very least, there's an opportunity, and there's more than a couple that you can get when, thanks to Palutena having a flexible but relatively straightforward kit. And one of the mix-ups we've seen we've, at the end of last game, beginning of this game, has been these jab mix-ups out of DAF from Gatsby, right? He's kind of trying to fit, mix up what opener he's looking for, what combo starter, and they're just the random Falcon kick gonna call it out. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. It's funny, cause like Falcon, you can do Falcon kick from one platform to the other, and it's like, okay. 
Good um, time's the charm on the spike, by the way. Yeah. Gatsby <laughs> missing not one, but two, and Jen saying, hold on, hold on, I got number three, it's mine. <laughs> Gonna close it out. Honestly, and, me too, Gatsby. Yeah, and <laughs> just racking on a whole bunch of extra percent, maintaining the stage control here, just covering all that airspace, and Gatsby's just not been able to pin Jen down. No, not in the slightest. And, I mean, Ritual would get to see just that advantage to start to flow away from him, right? Like, just right down the river, Jen establishing control in these like really key scenarios, finding landings, and unless you're able to convert those falling up airs into big punishes, Jen is just going to find themselves once again with stage control and a back air to meet wherever Gatsby wants, but that whole jab, just enough thanks to Falcon's fast falling nature to get to the ground before yeah. Jen. As well as, I, it looked like he DI'd down there as well, right? To yeah. kind of just increase that ability to get to the ground. The invulnerable back here, though, gonna close it out. And Jen, at least for now, holding a lead, but what a juggle from Gatsby going all the way up and out off the platform removal. And this is an even game. I was taking a drink of water and goddamn Gatsby. <laughs> like, sometimes yeah, Don't just... choke. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're okay in terms of my voice, but, I mean, Gatsby is certainly in the mojo right now, finding these juggles and finding these win conditions, and one of them isn't being caught by Palutena in air, but finding reversals off of ledge could very much be it. No shielding allowed here. He's all movement all the time, but it could come back to bite him if Jen can find that something like grab here, something out of this corner. And there Ooh. we see Gatsby backing off, right, for re really Fine. the first time all set. Not opting for that spike, Jen looking for it, and it's gonna allow Gatsby to kind of hold center here for the moment. Jen somehow, though, finding forward air, back air, just these stray hits, stealing backstage control, and it presents this high. It's so scary. Gatsby, though, ready for the DI, but not the F smash Ubel, and it's gonna be Jen. Gatsby, so, so close. Both games, but just like it's slipping through his grasp, and what a heartbreaking way to go down there. I want you to check this out, because I'm actually going to reset this early, because we, we see in characters that have two things. One, speed, and two, relatively straightforward kits. There's actually a, su a surprising amount of them in Smash Ultimate. But what you can do to play around that is use your speed and change up not just the move you're using or the stance you're taking, but the timing at which you do it. And what Jen is doing here is something what Palatunas do all the time. Empty hops and back air. And you transform that. You get to transform that into turnaround grabs. You get to transform that into a potential follow-ups and use what you learned against your opponent St uh, with status, with conditioning, with statements, and with placements, and more importantly, with timings, able to shift around and turn and, uh, and turn a normal position where you don't get anything off of a throw into and a stock a couple steps down the road. We also there saw kind of just how hard it can be to process every option in the, in the moment, right? Gatsby, right. definitely a high octane player, or but had the ability there instead of down airing to realize that Jen was drifting back, just fast fall back to ledge and at least reset the situation, get a right. double jump, breathe and look for something else afterwards. But because 